Deputy Michael Collins. Thank you. Um, Ireland has experienced major crises in its uh, forestry licensing system in recent years. The crisis has been caused by a number of factors, mainly driven by a lack of support at government level, including a lack of funding for the regulatory agency responsible for managing the country's forests, a shortage of skilled staff, and a backlog of applications for forestry licence. This has led to long delays in the processing of applications, and many people have been left in limbo as they wait for their licences to be approved. The recent revelation that the state forestry body, Kielta, uh, has formed a partnership with a British investment fund, Gresham, which will entail the practical transfer of ownership of Irish land to that entity, has rightly attracted quite a deal of, of criticism. We now understand that the first transfer of 12,000 hectares has actually occurred. I am totally opposed to the proposed sell-off of 123,000 acres of Irish land to the Gresham House Fund. Uh, an investment fund based in the UK. The proposal to sell Irish agriculture lends equivalent to the size of over 1,500 average farms or 50,000 football pitches could see the average price of an acre of land for forestry rise from 5,000 to 9,000. This will price many Irish farmers out of the market. Furthermore, this land will most likely be used to plant profitable monocultures of Sitka spruce instead of native Irish broadleaves, which are vital for biodiversity and carbon sequ sequestration. Uh, once this land is gone, it's gone forever. Uh, it is wrong to sell off large tracts of land to international corporates and vulture funds, who are only interested in making fast profits from destroying nature and our beautiful countryside. Ireland needs more native woods, uh, Minister, and sustained forestry, not more mass plantation. Rural Ireland needs balanced afforestation uh, that protects communities, farmers, biodiversity, large-scale corporate-owned plantations will accelerate the destruction of livable communities and nature.